Hey dudes, Silvite Saltis here, and today I've got another simplified gearing guide for you all. After discovering a few minor issues with my initial Healy Priest guide, which was some Phase 2 items that made their way into it, and having several people point out that other healers can wear many other powerful healing items, I decided that it's now time to start exploring the other loot that can be obtained by more heavy healers. So today, let's head into the realms of the spiritual and the holy, with both shaman and paladin healing gear. Note that as always, this is not a pre-raid best in slot list, as there are tons of those out around the internet. Rather, this guide is meant to serve as a simplified method in which to get geared up well enough to hold your own once you get into Molten Core and Anixia's Lair in Phase 1 of WoW Classic. Also, it's important to note that there are some differences in Paladin and Shaman gear, such as the relics and Librams, and the fact that only Paladins can wear the plate gear listed in this guide. But so long as you know what you can actually equip, you should be fine. So, without further ado, let's get into this guide. Step 1. Get your attunements done. As with every class and spec hoping to raid, your first priority at or close to level 60 should be to knock out the attunements for Molten Core and Anixia's Lair. This should be pretty easy to do as a healer, as there will no doubt be tons of players running the appropriate dungeons to complete the quests and it just makes sense to knock these out as soon as possible, since you might even be able to get into raids so long as you're attuned, especially in the early days. Since the attunements involve running the various dungeons of Blackrock Mountain, and there is a ton of great gear to be had in those places for healers, it just makes sense to start there. Step 2. Do these quests. When you're not running BRD, LBRS, or UBRS for your various attunement quests, go out into the world and complete the following quest chains, depending on what slots you need. If you need a neck piece, do the quest chain The Battle of Darrowshire in the Eastern Plaguelands, which awards a neck with decent stats but no plus healing, the Arclight Talisman. If you're Horde and you need a cloak, make sure to get the quest Rise of the Machines in the Badlands, which involves running BRD and you will probably knock out as you're doing your attunement anyway. This cloak is called the Raincaster Drape and is pretty much pre-raid best in slot for Horde healers. For your finger slot, you'll want to do the quest chain In Dreams in the Plaguelands, which awards the pre-raid best in slot healing ring Fordring Seal. For a trinket, the quest chain Heroes of Old in the Blasted Lands awards a mana per 5 trinket, Shard of Afrasa. Finally, for offhands, there are two options. The first is from the quest chain It's Dangerous to Go Alone in Ungoro Crater, which awards a plus 20 spell power offhand, Spirit of Aquamentis. However, if shields are more your thing, you could try to get the Sacred Protector by completing the quests Order Must Be Restored, if you're Alliance, or the Scarlet Oracle Demetria, if you're Horde, both in the Eastern Plaguelands. The shield is good for intellect, but doesn't have any spell power, so basically it's up to you. As always, there are some other quest rewards with good items for healers as well, but in general, these are the five big ones that you should definitely make sure to complete, especially in Dreams and Rise of the Machines. Step 3. Run Blackrock Depths. Okay, so once you've gotten your Paladin or Shaman finished with all of the quests that you feel you need to be done with, it's time to start the dungeon grind. After reviewing all of the drops obtainable in Phase 1, I've found that, like for most classes, BRD is the most lucrative dungeon by far, both in terms of the quantity and the quality of items that drop there. As a healer, there are roughly 33 possible items that you could get from BRD, depending of course on which class you're playing. 
Naturally, some of these items are simply high stat items, such as the Chief Architect's monocle from Phineas Darkvire. However, some of them are pre-raid best in slot, and are worth a lot to any healer, and sometimes to DPS as well. Here's a basic rundown of every item that you could get in BRD as a Shaman or Paladin healer. Notice that there are drops for every single slot other than Neck and Relics, so it's really beneficial to run this dungeon in particular. Anyway, once you've run BRD into the ground, feel free to head on over to the next step, especially if you're missing a good chest, wrists, or shoulders at this point. Step 4. Run Skull Immense or Stratham Undead. By this point, you should probably have a good set of items. However, you may find that your chest, wrists, or shoulder slots are still a bit lackluster. If so, the next and hopefully final step for you is to run Skull Immense and or Stratholme Undead. Skull Immense is home to about 30 decent drops for healers, although many of them are the tier zero helms and the set pieces with really low drop chance from the mini bosses near the end. This is basically irrelevant though, as what you're really after if you're coming here are the Loom Guard arm braces from Kirtanos the Herald with 33 plus healing, and the Royal Cap Spalders from Janus Berov, which have 26 plus healing. These two items are excellent for both Paladin and Shaman healers, though the latter may be difficult to convince a group to try for, as Jandis is an optional boss, in the middle of the basement. Still, they're probably your best bet for solid healing wrists and shoulders. If you need a good chest piece, head over to Stratholme Undead to try and get the insanely good Robes of the Exalted from Baron Rivendare, with a whopping plus 68 healing. This is basically the best healing chest you can get prior to BWL, at least from dungeons, so it's a nice way to round out your set. Plus, if you didn't get lucky with plus healing drops in BRD, this can really help you to compensate for that. Before running this dungeon though, make sure that you pick up the quest Houses of the Holy from Light's Hope Chapel, so that you can get the MP5 helm Crown of the Penitent, in case you need more mana regeneration or just if you don't have a solid helm yet. More loot can't hurt, right? Congratulations on getting your Shaman or Paladin to 60, and good luck getting geared up. It's not easy collecting all of the best items, but hopefully this guide serves you in getting geared good enough to raid as fast as possible. As always, I've included a link to my blog with all of these items listed out and more in the description below. So head on over to sylvitesoltis.blogspot.com to read that there. If you found this guide useful or interesting, remember to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for when new content is released. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates as well as to talk to me about anything WoW Classic related. Finally, if you found this useful, consider supporting me by becoming one of my patrons over on Patreon. I really appreciate your support. Much love, everyone. And as always, take it easy.